the kind of women they actually want are not really women they actually love or women they have respect for it's not women they they appreciate you, you know basically they are describing a slave hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel well, hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer um, and to all of you that keep coming back hello and welcome back quick reminder if you've never subscribed just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe and after that click the bell sign that way you get notification whenever i um that way you get notification whenever i upload the new video it's the end of the day and i'm getting ready to go to bed so i just thought i'll quickly make this video and just get it out of the way so i have few videos here and there where i have discussed issues like there's one i made about nigerian nurses abroad and their marriage problems and um, there was one i made about my life growing up at my, my father's house my life experiences and uh, my life experiences and things like that you know i've made a few videos here and there and i address few things but i keep getting guys mostly men and uh, writing me i have emails i have, I have on facebook i have comments you know I, in the videos you know people that are you know some people come oh feminist now when it comes to feminism I, I still don't know if I can call myself a feminist because I still want to understand the meaning of feminism before I can say I'm a feminist you know and I find that it depends on who you are talking with it, it, it seems that the definition of feminism depends on who you're talking to or who you're asking so I don't know if I can call myself a feminist because I'm, there's some things some feminists believe in that I I don't believe in I believe in equality I just believe in everybody deserve to be happy I just believe that no human being came into this world as an escort those are the things that I believe but feminism I've never been able to say I'm a feminist until I really figure out properly redo my research and really be sure what it means you know there are some feminists that say oh did you you know my ch the children are going to have two last names and then let's say the mother's name the mother's last name is Konkwa, and then the father's last name is Olawale, and then they say oh i'm a feminist so my child is going to have my last name as well so let's say the child's name is like titi the child is going to be called titi or Konkwa or Lawale, and that's two last names i feel personally i feel like that's not practical because okay if that child has two last names and then she gets married to a guy that has two last names and then their children what's gonna be their last names how many last names those are the things that i kind of be like okay if that is that feminism i don't get that personally that wouldn't be something that i'm interested in and there are some feminists that believe that if men can uh, walk on the streets in the summer with their shirts off women should be able to do the same those are the places where i feel okay i don't i don't get that because i wouldn't want to be walking with my shirt off so i don't know so so people say i am feminist i don't i don't even know if i can call myself a feminist i really want to be sure what it is before i ever say i'm a feminist so but my thing is i believe in equality i believe everybody deserves to be happy i believe that nobody's no but nobody is anybody's slave and nobody came into this world as an escort is that is as simple as that so those are my beliefs another problem i have about my videos is some people actually don't watch my videos i feel like they just watch it with their minds already closed you know with their minds already closed they're just there ready to attack they don't really take the time and actually listen to what i'm saying i always explain a lot in my videos or they watch halfway and then they leave a comment there's no point because you're leaving a comment on a video you have not watched you're leaving a comment on a content you do not actually understand what's in it so there's no point in leaving your comment your comment is invalid because you some people actually end up asking you the question that you answered in the video now so you can talk about the way i talk i talk fast i talk really fast and then i i when i get passionate about something i talk Sometimes it may sound like I'm angry. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm angry. It's just the way that I talk. I find that when these people come and leave me comments on those videos that they are... And the funny thing is always the men, you know. I'm almost my, always my Nigerian men, you know. Not all men, but the comments that I get that are always against are more my Nigerian men. And fortunately, some men actually write me agreeing with what I'm saying. And they will say the change is happening. Things are changing. That is in the past, you know. But there are some... Oh, I'm Nigerian men that are like, it has to be this way. Like, this is it. Like, you know, they refuse, refuse to open their minds and understand what's going on. And those are the problems that we're having. You know, it's, it's a massive problem. So, yeah. And some of these men, when they leave, when they send you a message or comment or sometimes, you know, whatever, they describe the, you know, to be honest, what they do not, re some of these men, right, what they actually end up describing is a slave, not a wife, is um, a subordinate, is, is not a, so it's not someone you love, 
you know th these women they the kind of women they actually want are not really women they actually love or women they have respect for it's not women they they appreciate you, you know basically they are describing a slave honestly so men honestly do not really want a wife what they want is a slave and they describe and they talk about our forefathers our you know they forget that every single day we open our eyes and we see things differently and we change the world would change whether you like it or not the world will change there was a time we killed twins in nigeria there was a time but do look at us today who's going to kill twins twins are now seen as blessings there was a time twins were seen as an abomination. There was a time when they used to kill the twins, both. And there was a time they were killing only one. So the parents have to choose one and then they kill one because it was seen as an abomination. But today we know different. A lot of people are celebrating when they find out they're having twins and triplets. You know, they are now seen as blessings. But would you believe there was a time we saw them as abomination, as a curse? You know, that is how you know that it will change. So be like, our tradition can never change. It will change. Whether you like it or not, it will change. And some things are actually becoming against the law. There was a time it was okay to beat your wife. It's against the law now. In the olden days, it was not against the law. You know, in the time of our forefathers, it was not against the law. But today, it's against the law. You don't have a choice. The world is changing. And you will change with it. You don't have a choice. This is only the beginning, you know. Most of the things that I say, I believe that a reasonable person will agree with me on what I'm saying, you know. But some people are honestly actually not reasonable and they are very, you know, stone-hearted and, I don't know, set in their ways. And, and I think because what the problem is, is they don't ever take a minute and put themselves in someone else's shoes because they have always enjoyed the privilege of being the men in the society that favors the men. Men, you know, get away with so much. When it comes to some people, not all men, because that's the mistake people make. They always be like, oh, you are saying this about men. I have never ever made a video and say all men or all women or all people. It's only some people, a lot of people, some people, few people. I never ever say all. When it then comes to, you know, some of these men that, you know, the kind of messages I get and whatever. So men refuse to understand that a woman is not an escort. A woman did not, does not exist because of you. A woman deserves to be happy too. If we were to stick with a lot of things, an African wife will basically be a slave. Don't argue with me, that's a fact. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. In our culture, right? In our culture, only women tie babies on the back. I'm just using this to illustrate to you. In our culture, right? Only the women tie the baby on their backs. In our culture, only women carry load on their heads. Husbands don't carry loads on their heads. And husbands don't tie babies on their backs. That is the African culture. 100%, okay? Naturally, naturally, only the woman can be pregnant. If a couple are going out and they have a child with them, a cultural thing to do is the woman ties the baby on the back. If a couple went out and they're coming let's say a couple went to the farm or went to the market or whatever and they're coming home in our culture only the women carry the load on their heads but if you come to some cultures if a couple went out and they have a child with them the men will carry the baby on the arm or oh, i see some i live in the western society where you see the men carry the baby on their on their um, on their shoulders or they have a pram you see the men pushing the pram and the woman is walking nearby that is a different culture. Some people are going to say, you want us to dump our culture? And I just always say it. It's not about that culture is better than ours or whatever. But I think sometimes, you know, we have to open our eyes and ask ourselves, what is the right thing to do in this situation? Now, i show you guys this video, okay? Bear in mind that in our culture, the woman carries the child. Only the woman can be pregnant. The woman carries the load on the head. I'll let you guys watch this video. And then I'll come back and I'll finish off the video. Yeah. Now, this video, somebody shared it on Facebook. 
basically from the explanation they gave they were coming this couple were coming from the farm the wife is like basically like nine months pregnant and she tied the baby on the back and then she has a load there is a load and she has a load on her head in our culture the man cannot tie a baby on his back a man cannot carry the load on his head and then naturally only the woman can be pregnant so, um, you know when i say this right to people like oh you're trying to say that western culture is better it's not about that it's about what is right in that situation why can't the man carry that baby on his arms why can't he she is heavily pregnant no he can't do that because he has a wife that is a slave that she can do everything and he is walking he's working with nothing all he has is his cutlass and all the produce from the farm are on her head because in our culture only the woman can carry a load on, on the head our culture says no a man cannot carry a load on his head those of you that keep agree disagreeing with me this is what you th this is what you call an african woman and that is what i call slavery no human being came into this world as a slave nobody when i say these things you know something like oh yeah take a minute and think look at that woman do you not feel sorry for that woman heavily pregnant with a baby on her back load on her head but the man is walking with nothing but there are some cultures where a woman is not allowed to do all of that those things and when i was pregnant with my fourth child in ireland I, 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 I mowed the lawn and I came out and I washed the car and my neighbor came out and said to me get, get down stop it she said go inside it was on a Saturday I mowed the lawn and I came out I was washing the car One of my neighbors came out and said to me get inside I was like what, what, what's why, why she was like you can't she said you I saw you mowing the lawn and now I see you washing the car get inside there's a man in the house let him come out and wash the car and I was like okay she said you can't be doing that you're pregnant and I thought to myself you know to me, it was nothing. But after that day, I became too embarrassed to do a lot of stuff outdoors. Like any, any, anything that had to do with outdoors. Because I would come, I would trim the hedges. And I would do my gardening. And I would mow the lawn. I would do all of these things. But after that day, I was a bit embarrassed. Because I was like, okay. She came out and said it. Because she was like my next door neighbor. And she's a very lovely woman. Very lovely woman. But I was like, okay. The other people are not saying they may be thinking the same thing. I felt so embarrassed. Because these are cultural differences. And we all, we learn from each other. It's not about adopt all western culture I, I can tell you some western cultures that i'm like what is that well i can tell you there are some that be, oh yeah and we cannot stay here and be like all our cultures you know all our african cultures are amazing you know we can't say that and don't forget that in africa there are different parts of africa things are done different you know places in africa so specifically actually this video is actually speaking about nigeria really because i don't want to talk about countries i don't know so let me actually say i'm talking about nigeria that i know you know so men, so men do not take a minute and think. I remember growing up, you know, in Nigeria, and you hear that, would you believe that that woman, she made pounding yam with, with um, a pounding machine? And we were actually, I would call it brainwashed. I would call it brainwashed. We were brainwashed to say, if you, in my house, growing up, because people are going to come and start saying that, my house growing up, shortcuts were actually seen as a sign of laziness. She's a lazy wife. If you use a blender, oh, she's lazy. Why did she pound it in our cultural way? It took a long time for a lot of people to accept a blender. This is my experience in my own house growing up. If you hear, did you did you hear what happened? She made a pounded yam for, for her husband with a, a pounding machine. You'd be like, what? She used a pounding machine, and they would talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. But now, a lot of people are using pounding machine. My house, when I was growing up, we were made to feel that until you have labored, until you have done it the hard way, you have not yet proven your strength as an African woman. So I made a video about if a woman works 100%, unless the man lost his job, or some women that came abroad with a working visa, and then the man stays at home, there is nothing wrong with the man cooking before she comes home. So men disagree. Is it not partnership? Relationship, marriage is a partnership. If a, if a man is working, but before he comes home, the woman will cook, she will clean, she will do everything. And then some Nigerian men will not think that if, God forbid, the woman is the only one that is working, she should go to work and come back and she go to the kitchen and cook for you that is at home. Think about it. Think about it. You don't come, you don't come, don't come on YouTube and be arguing blindly. Think about it. Think, it's not the dream. Most women want a man that works. 
But unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. It is not about being a man. I've said this like a billion times. It's about being human. What works in your relationship? What works is a partnership. Nobody should be a slave. Pregnant woman with baby on the back, baby in the belly, and carry load on her head. And you just walk in there empty-handed. I, I just wanted to come here and show this video and see if this video will speak to some of you guys that always come and leave me these comments. Partnership, you know, work together. Just like they say in my language. Left hand washes the right hand and the right hand washes the right, left hand. It's, a co it's cooperation, like that. It's cooperation. But some men are still still want a woman that going to work his money to come back and do to, to serve them food and give him water to wash his hands. So men till today, if you if not serve them water to wash their hands, you're not a good wife. Bring their shoes for them to wear, polish their shoes, iron their clothes, do their laundry, do everything. If they are the ones at home, they will not do your shoe or they will not do anything like that for you. It's only in our culture that we see that it's only men, women that should do this for their husbands not the husbands should never do all these things for their wives if you love your wife you will do these things without question that's my belief if you love your wife you will do anything to be of bring her joy you will not want to to make her your slave i don't understand how you love a woman and make her your slave i just don't understand he used to do his own cleaning his own ironing his own everything as soon as he marries oh oh you know, this is heaven. The woman does everything. All the things you used to do becomes no longer... You, you know, it's only when they marry, it's no longer something a man can do. But you used to cook for yourself before you got married. But as soon as you marry, a man should not be in the kitchen. A man should not clean the house. Marriage should not be slavery. You know, your wife is your partner, not your slave. That's all I'm trying to say. It's goodbye, friends. And goodbye, folks.